Hi guys, very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the video number 453. My name is Ajay Parmar and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar which is my channel and in this video today we are going to talk something very exciting as always actually. <laughs> so this time again uh, due to one of the question I received uh, from one of my subscribers and extremely uh, it's, a, it's a very very good question so I thought you know uh, to share the video with you and in this now uh, video we are going to talk about how to actually look through all the emails in your outlook folder and you know basis the date and the time condition how we can filter the emails maybe you can move them from one folder to the another folder maybe you can export their subject their their you know the recipients which are added in the email the attachments in the excel so whatever you want to do you can do i'm here to talk about how to set up this criteria so that you set up the start time and the end time and basis that if any email in your folder you know if it is uh, if, if it is falling within that start and the end time it should immediately pop up right so this is the video number 453 and if you're watching the channel for the first time i can bet you are absolutely you know you have you have logged in today on the right right video you're watching this video uh, and uh, in, in this video uh, we're going to talk about the excel vba but there are so many other videos as well where you can go and check out the excel vba content so guys this channel actually is dedicated for all those professionals who wants to be you know extremely extremely good in excel excel vba ms access and access vba these are the four topics you will find on this channel and these are all the playlists which i have created for you you guys keep on you know commenting on the channel that how to start this because there are 400 plus videos so guys these are all the 45 playlists which i have created for you and if you scroll it down you get to see all the different different videos here some has as you can see 5 videos 6 videos 14 videos 12 videos you know so the list is endless and the video which i'm going to talk about is that you're gonna find here in the excel vba connecting outlook with the excel so let me just show you let me um, because we have got there i think almost 40 videos now on the outlook part so let me just go there and this is by the way connecting ms access from excel so let me click on this so you can see that we have got 41 videos on outlook guys and this is going to be the 42th video on this right so you can scroll down and you would get to see all these titles you know basis these titles you can see that what exactly this is talking about right so these are all the videos where we learned how to control the outlook with the excel right so now i'm going to talk about how to watch the playlist now these are all the playlists which you should watch in this sequence as i have written here right because i know if we have 45 playlists again the problem would come if you don't know which playlist is to watch first so this is how the pattern is the sequences go and watch this this is for the excel vba this is for the excel this is for the access front end and this is for the access vba right so pause the video and go and check out all these playlists one by one all the best to you now here i'm going to talk of one of the question i received from my the subscriber uh, whose name is actually uh, gz so i'm going to actually read out that question so he says that hi ajay i have a question for you unfortunately i can't i can't find the answer let me just zoom out so this is what he is saying is there a way in outlook to loop over the email items in an email folder but only in a specific time range and not the whole folder with the for each method for example i only want to loop over the mails from the last 24 hours in my inbox and not the whole folder which contains thousands of emails do you have any recommendation well jasmine uh, so you have come to the right channel and uh, I, I am glad that you, you posted this comment after watching one of my Outlook video. Definitely we're going to talk about this because this is very exciting and I hope this is going to help everybody, right? So let immediately start this without wasting the time and I'm going to make this code here. But before I make the code, what I want to do is, guys, now look at this. This is my inbox folder, okay? It can, in, in, in your case, it can be uh, any other folder as well. You can also use the subfolder that's okay uh, go and watch my videos how to define the subfolders and you will understand if you want to refer to your own folders which you have created in, inside the inbox how you can refer to that uh, refer to that but in this particular video we are going to only talk about the inbox so here you can see that these are all the emails which i have received and this is on the first of uh, this is on the 10th of january this is 23rd january this is 23rd and so on so what i want to do is i want to make a code which should capture the emails from the 1st february till 23rd of february midnight so that this email 
should be captured from the first February right only the one email right and that email in this particular example what I'm going to do I'm going to move it to my test folder which is absolutely blank I have created this folder you know this is not the outlook folder so in this way you would also learn how to define these subfolders so not only this uh, we are going to talk about how to uh, you know uh, loop through how to set up the time but also how to define the folders how to define your own folders so let us go ahead and do that now the first thing which I'm actually going to do here is let me just insert the module um, because I will start from the scratch uh, so first thing which you need to do guys you just go to the tool and the reference make sure outlook library should be activated this is Microsoft Outlook 16.0 because I'm using Outlook 2016 in your case it can be different but that should not stop you to use this library because version is just a number right you just make sure you should have this Microsoft Outlook activated so now the next thing which I want to do is so let's say we write here time time limit this is the macro name I'm gonna write the time limit now the first thing which you will do is you will create the Outlook application now you know that if you have watched my previous all those 41 videos you know this is how we create the Outlook dot application dot application and set O equals to new Outlook dot application this is the first first two lines you will have to write now what do you mean by these lines now these lines are actually going to create this O you know object as an outlook object so now this O is going to be considered as your outlook right now the next thing I want to do is because I want to run this loop in the inbox folder and uh, in the inbox folder I want to go in every email one by one so I'm actually going to do two things one is I'm going to use the namespace which is this is how you write namespace is the class which we use to define the folder so this is how we write guys o dot get namespace message application platform interface this is how you write okay message application platform interface these lines are very important because here you will define your folder so I'm just going to define my folder one let's say folder one as outlook dot folder outlook dot folder and then you write set fol1 equals to ons dot get default folder now get default folder you get to see all the folders here now which folder do you want I'm going to target the inbox so I just write here inbox that is the first thing what is the folder 2 so folder 2 is my destination folder I'm gonna give it a name called as fol2 as outlook dot folder so then again fol2 equals to you write ons ons is remember it's a namespace class which you're using get default folder in the default folder this is my inbox but in the inbox further I have created a folder which is you are gonna write like this folders and then you are going to write the name of the folder which is test okay so this way guys your folder is defined now right so we have the folder one we have the folder two now what is the next thing so the next thing is that I want to define a email also so I'm going to define my mail as outlook dot mail item so this is how you define the you know the mail item so I write here dot mail item this line means that my mail is going to be considered as email so this is how to find o dot create item let's create that item if it is an appointment you can use the appointment if it is a contact item you can use the contact item and this time it is going to be a mail item I talked about the point, uh, appointment item in my three videos how to create the appointment how to control the appointment how to skip over the existing appointments and create the new appointments from the excel go and watch those videos right so now guys this is the code which we have prepared now what is the next thing I want to do the next thing we would like to do is uh, we are going to run the loop for each my mail for each of my email in my folder which is folder one dot items what I want to do is next my mail I want to move I want to move those emails where we have you know the the where we are actually uh, whatever the time setup we are going to mention here according to that the email you know uh, it, it actually falls in that category so you have to write here a variable called let's say I define start so my this start uh, let's say start uh, maybe date as date and then then end date as date right you define it now start date is going to be equals to what so I'm going to define the date in the hash use the hash so let's say 2nd of February the 1st of February actually uh, so this is how I'm going to write hash okay now if you're interested in using the time then you can use the time as well right if you just want the date you just write the date but I'm going to use that you know uh, the time as well so I just go and use that function called time uh, serial and then here you write the hour as integer so hour as integer so let's say I write here 
9 in the morning and then minutes so I write 0 minutes and 0 seconds that's what I'm going to write so my time would be 1st of February 2017 9 a.m. what is my end time guys so I'm going to write here end date and underscore date and this time is going to be uh, let's say I write here as I said I was talking about I'm going to write here uh, 23rd right so I write here 23rd I just want need the one email and the timing would be remember this email is it's it's received 2345 so what I will do is I will write here 23 and then I'll write here 46 so let me change that to 46 there, there we go right so minutes or seconds everything I, I have taken care of it so now these are your timings which you need to set up every time you can also uh, write them in the Excel and you can connect that from the Excel that's also perfectly fine right so now guys how are we going to do this so I'm going to say that if my mail my mail you know and the time of, of that email right so I'm, I'm just going to find out what is the basically the time uh, what is the that property which can let me know about the timing so I go here I just go down down creation time I use so if my creation time of the email is going to be uh, greater than and equals to my start date so you write here start date and at the same time if that is going to be less than the end date so just copy this and paste it here and uh, so I'm just going to write here end date end date and it has to be less than so if it is that scene if it if if this is the case then what should happen then my folder the email you know my email that should immediately go to the you know the another folder which is my mail dot move you use the move method right so that is going to move to which folder destination folder as folder you know the folder name is folder 2 let me check that again yeah it's folder 2 you can see that that's a folder 2 okay so now since we are done with this uh, what I'm going to do let me just uh, do some adjustments here so that we can see the entire code yeah that is your code and if it is not the case then we will simply say else and if don't do anything next just go to the message box okay so now let's go and check that code so I'm gonna run the code let's see so we basically we are saying that the starting time the email creation time has to be greater than the start date and it has to be less than the end date equals to I have written it so that it this date should also be included and the time should also be included so any date which falls between 1st February 9 a.m. Uh, you know uh, and 23rd of February 23:46 minutes it should immediately go to the test folder and this is the email I'm targeting right now right so let's go ahead and let's check that so I'm going to run this there we go okay variable not defined all right so why are we getting the variable not defined all right so it's typo mistake right so let's go and run the code okay there we go something went wrong you made want to try again all right so what's what what is the issue here so outlook dot namespace and I want to check so this is I forgot here in I lot of type of mistakes today happening all right so I run this there we go now you can see that your folder 2 is test your folder 1 is inbox now the start date is going to be captured type is match so I think guys don't use this and operator we're gonna add plus so this will date and time will be added and you will have the combination of date and time and as you can see here I got the start date as 1st of February 2017 9 a.m. and the end date is 23rd of February 23 hours 46 minutes 00 seconds right so we got the date the start date and the end time now let's run this what is the email creation time so it's capturing a date which is 23rd of January 23 37 hours so which is that particular time so you know you can see here that we have got here a lot of lot of dates with the uh, with this you know 23rd so I can I can I can see I can show you here these are all the dates basically now this is I think this is the one which is targeting right now because it's showing me the seconds as well but this is only you know it's rounding up the number but that's okay uh, I see here 23rd so it should go in the else mode because you know we are not targeting this 23rd January because 23rd January is not greater than 1st of February 
obviously so it should go in the else mode perfect what about the next the next email again is 23rd so I just leave it what is the next the next email is again 23rd of January again leave it 23rd again leave it what is the next guys it is again 23rd leave it and then we have 23rd of February so we got the 23rd of February um, and uh, it is obviously greater than my 1st of February and this 23rd of February is it less than my this time so you can see the timing here it's 2344 and it's 2346 so this definitely follows this if condition so let's see that where it is going to go look at this guys it goes in the then part so now from here this email should move to the folder too so let's have a look here do you see that the mail is moved wonderful now I go back to the next email what is the next email next email is 24th of February now 24th of February is greater than again this start date but is it less than my end date which is 23rd of February of course not so the condition is not qualifying so it should go in the else mode there we go bingo we got it so finally this is I think only the email this is again 23rd of January that's it guys so you have controlled all these emails so where I have moved this mail you know to the folder called test you can see here let me just click on there look at this guys this is the email which is 23rd of February 2345 timing showing so the mail actually is moved and that's how you know you can actually work with the time and the date right and similarly I have used here move you can also do other things for example you can delete the emails or maybe you can export their you know information in the Excel if you don't know how to export this I already talked about this in one of my previous videos just go and watch that right so I think uh, this is the code I should maximize the window and you guys can see that right this is the code for you so that's it pause the video and enjoy the code and let me know if if you need further more help on this or if anything I couldn't I was not wasn't able to explain you though I always try my best to explain you as much as I can right so that's it for now guys and do subscribe to the channel thank you so much for your love for your support have a fantastic evening bye bye